In this page, we show a very interesting question, like for the disk controller. When the system is running, if we have multiple block requests at the same time from different processors, then which one should be executed first, and what will be the execution order of these different block requests from different processors? We have an assumption here that requests are from independent processors, and we have no dependency among these requests. So to answer this question, we probably need to go over the architecture of the disk again, right? We mentioned before, the read and the write head of the disk will move forward and backward. When the head reaches a position, the plate will rotate, right? In other words, if we fix the position of the head at a at an location and the plate rotates around it, then the head will be able to read a data on this track, right? I mean, on this uh, cylinder. At this point, how much distance is ahead to the center, right? Is it will be able to read the data on the whole cylinder, right? As the plate rotates. We also mentioned that this arm movement can be very expensive compared with the plate rotation, right? In other words, we need to minimize the time cost on moving the head. Because this one will be controlled by the models here. This movement can be very slow compared with the plate rotations. In other words, we have to minimize the time cost we spend on the arm movement. So therefore, the algorithm we need to uh, use for deciding these execution orders of different requests from different processes. So normally, when we have head, let's assume if at this moment the head is at an location, as this plate rotates, we were able to read all the data on the cylinder, right? If we have some requests and the data is on the cylinder at this uh, location at the present, then we'll be able to read it, data, and also uh, execute this uh, request first. If we have no data request on the current cylinder, then we'll be able to move the head forward and backward, right? It really depends on the previous direction of the head movement. If before we are moving the head inward towards the center of the plates, then the head will be moving in the same direction of the previous movement until the next cylinder with the block's access is encountered. For example, if the next block we want to read is actually at this location, we have to move the head inward towards the center, right? Slightly. As the plate rotates, we will be able to read and write this block, right? And the next one to be executed. And once we have the other blocks to be read or write in the same direction of the previous arm movement, then we will be able to move the arm backward to read some data blocks in the other direction instead. Therefore, the order for executing different requests it really depends on the arm, arm movement as well as the cylinder's locations we want to read for these requests. If the request of the block is on the current cylinder of the arm, then we will be able to read the data directly. Then the next one to be executed will be the blocks in the same direction of this arm movement. And for the request in the reverse direction of the arm movement will be executed at the last. So this will be very interesting because in this way we will be able to ensure the arm movement is minimized because this one will take lots of time. Uh, in this way, we can ensure the efficiency of the data reading and writing for the disks. This algorithm is also called the animator algorithm for the disk controller.